operations tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to implement a quick sort algorithm in PHP. Um, first thing we're going to do is open up NetBeans and start ZAMP to start the web server which we're going to use. ZAMP. Start, start. Okay, once NetBeans opens, um, I'm going to open the project that I use to show all my tutorials, which is my first project. Uh, okay. I'm going to create a new file under source file under my algorithms folder called sorts. Um, web server started. So I'm just going to test this is working by printing hi. Okay. If not, web server. Okay, now if I go to localhost slash my first project algorithms, so let's load. It's taking a while. While it's taking ages to load, I'll just quickly explain the quick sort algorithm is used to sort through data, uh, normally arrays. It's one of the best, quickest, most efficient sorting algorithms you can get. It averages um, O log N, um, N log N, sorry, N log 2N, uh, which is pretty efficient as sorting algorithms go. So it can be very useful. Um, okay, this is now started. So sorts. Hey, okay, so it's working. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a function to just generate a random list because remember we want to sort data, so we want a random array of data. So I'm just going to go a equals empty array for i equals zero. I well, so I'm going to make ten elements. Um, I plus plus, <clears throat> and I'm just going to say next element of A is going to be a random number between 0 and 100, and then return A. And we can just test that's working by doing a print R, or um, as we can say, R equals um, generate R array. So now if I print R. Print R just will print in a formatted way an array. So now if I load this, reload the page. Um, okay, got a problem. Oh. Uh, what have I done wrong? Function generate R. We have an error. Give me something really dumb. What have I done? Oh. Uh. Where is function? Oh, it's oh, it's because it didn't have a semicolon here. That's why. Always the smallest problems. Refresh, and we have an array. Uh, there are ten numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If I refresh, it generates totally different numbers every time. It's random. It's randomly generating 10 numbers here between 0 and 100. So we have random numbers being created. <clears throat> Just to format this so we know what we're looking at, I'm going to put unsorted array and then a br tag. And now it should print it like that. So now we have telling us it's the unsorted array. So now we want to work on our quick sort sort algorithm which will sort the data um, and order it low to high uh, so the first number here would be five for example would be at the t would be a position zero that's what we want to achieve and then seven um, so the way quick sort algorithm works is it's in a way it's similar to binary search and it divides data um, each time it 
it it uh, it calls itself because it's it, it's uh, normally well, and the way I'm going to show you it is as a recursive function. So it's going to be a function that calls itself, um, and it's sort of it gets the pivot, which is a position that it's going to look at, and it makes sure that that is in the correct position every pass. Uh, I'm not really great at explaining how exactly quicksort works, but I can show you how to implement it using PHP. If you want to learn exactly the theory, the theory behind how it all works, then um, I recommend checking out some YouTube tutorials that show you, just explain how it works. But for now, I'm just going to show you how to write quicksort algorithm PHP. So, we've declared our function here, quicksort. First parameter is going to be the array. Now, it's important that we pass it by reference, which means that um, we can change the variable within the function and it will have an effect on the wider program, the array, that, the variable that's passed to it. And the way you pass a variable by reference, PHP, is you add a ampersand or an and sign at the beginning of the variable name. So we're going to say and array. Um, so that means any variable that's passed has the array parameter. We, it, it can be edited modified within this function. So we're going to have that there and then we're going to have we're going to pass in a uh, original low value and an original high value. So I've called them low orange and high orange. And then go into the body of the function. First thing we're going to do is we're going to put at the top we're going to put a check if the size of the array that's been passed in is less than 2 then we're going to return because if the size is less than 2 then it's already sorted because it's either 0 it has no size or it's 1 and you can't sort something that is a single value it's already sorted so that is the end condition of the recursive calls uh, that is when we're finished um, now we need to declare a pivot variable now the pivot variable is going to be the value at a specific uh, position in the array it doesn't actually matter what position you define uh, this in the array. I could, for example, say zero. I could start at the beginning or high orange, which as passed in here is going to be, um, well, when we pass it in will be the, the last element. But just to make it a bit more easy to understand, we're going to make it the middle element. And the way we do that is we get the low orange plus the high orange. So in this case, it'd be zero. When it's first called, it'd be zero. Um, will be the starting value for low orange and high will be the last element so it'll be um, so in this case it'd be 9 divided by 2 so it will give the, the middle element uh, the value so this will get the value of the middle element of the array and now we're going to declare some variables that are going to change so low orange and high equals high orange the reason we're not just using low orange and high orange is because we're going to use these variables later on. We need to uh, keep uh, their original value. <clears throat> we now declare a loop here, a while loop. So while low, uh, sorry, while high is greater or equal to low. Uh, we are going to then do another loop within here. So while the while the low element, well, it's uh, the pivot. So while the pivot is greater than the element we're currently looking at, low is going to increment itself. So this will basically skip over um, elements that are lower than the pivot. So while the pivot is greater, it will keep adding to low until it is greater than pivot. Um, and while, and then we do the, a similar thing the opposite way for high. So while high value is greater than pivot, we're going to decrement high like that. And then we have an if. So if low, if high is greater or equal to low, then we're going to swap their values. I'm going to put a comment here. And the way we're going to sort the values is we're going to set up a temporary variable which is going to store the value 
at position low in the array. And then we're going to set position low in the array to be position high in the array. And then position high in the array is then going to be the temporary value, which was the low position. So we're swapping them over. So if the high, if if high is greater than low, then we're we're swapping the values around in the in the list. Uh, and then we increment low and decrement high. Uh, the last step of the sort is to call this function recursively. So if the original low value if the high value is now greater than the original low value, like I said, type something there, then we're going to run a quick sort. We're going to call the function again itself. We're going to pass in the array, low orange, and then high. And then we do the opposite check on the high orange value. So if high orange is greater than low, we're going to call quicksort array low and high are rich. And that is all it is. So in what? Well, so yeah, in about just over 20, 20 odd lines of code, by the time you get rid of the white space, um, we've created a quicksort algorithm. Um, so now let's put this to the test. Um, let's put some values here so we can output what we got. So we're, I'm just going to do some more print statements around so we can see what we're doing. Sorted array. Another br tag. And then we're going to call quick sort on the array. And we need to give it initial values of 0, which is the first element in the array. And then size of the array. Uh, and then we need to minus one from this because otherwise it would, would get array out of bounds errors, um, index out of bounds errors. And that is because um, the size of the array is always one greater than the last element in the array. So this would give a size of 10, but the last element is actually 9, meaning when we got down here we would potentially be um calling on a, an index in the array that doesn't exist which is going to throw an error um so this here we don't need to assign this to any value because it doesn't actually return a value it just modifies the um it just modifies this value Directly, that is what passing by reference is, is. That's what this ampersand sign does in the quicksort function definition. Um, next, we are just going to print then the new, the, the up to date version of um, array print r. And that should now display an unsorted array here. And then after the function has been performed on the array, it is then going to output the new version of the array and it should be sorted using the quicksort algorithm I refresh the page and here we see we now have okay something isn't <laughs> quite right here okay we have we have errors okay let's try and resolve his errors um when i tested this earlier it was working Okay, the error I think is at the bottom. It's um yeah, it's here. Um so I'm accidentally setting it to low. Instead it should be temp because I was actually assigning it a value of low when low would have just been a number at this point, not an actual value from the array that we were sorting. Um yeah, it's mistake. it should have just been temp, so it should now work, hopefully. Uh sorts. Okay, so now it works. So we have a sorted array here. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's sorted it correctly. So this is using a quick sort algorithm. It's managed to sort it. Let's just refresh a few times to make sure we haven't just been lucky and it's just happened to sort it correctly. Uh, another one. Yeah, these two are the same, so that's correct. They're still sorted. Yep. 
try again. Yep, another sorted uh, seems to be working. So we have a quick sort algorithm here working. Again, I recommend if you want to know exactly how this works and the theory behind it all, then I'd recommend looking up some more YouTube videos or looking on the web to find out the theory behind it all. Uh, but thank you very much for watching.